And joining us now to discuss it, Simon Rosenberg, president and founder of the Progressive New Democrat Network. He's also a former Clinton campaign advisor. And Mark Thiessen, who is a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a former George W. Bush speechwriter. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. So, sure, Megan. Thanks, Megan. Are you really at war? Are you at war on me, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Look, there's no war against women. What there is is a war for the women's vote, and it's a war, quite frankly, that Barack Obama is losing. Uh, according to the Gallup tracking poll, when, when Obama took office in 2009, he had 70% approval rating with women. Today, his approval rating with women this week, according to Gallup, is 47%. That's a 23% drop since he took office. So he knows that he's got to turn that around if he's going to get reelected. And so what he's doing is he's either creating or wading into all of these controversies. He's entering the fight over whether women should be allowed in Augusta National Golf Club. Uh, he's uh, The Democrats up on Capitol Hill are trying to provoke a fight over the Violence uh, Against Women Act. They're putting all these poison pill amendments in there to try and get the Republicans to, to block it. And that's why we have this controversy where the president is forcing religious employers uh, to offer contraception and abortifacients to women uh, in order to get, uh, in, because he wants the fight. He could have easily blocked that fight by extending the exemption that was offered to churches to religious employers, but he wanted the fight. And, and this, that's, what, that's what he's doing. Is this, Simon, about good politics for the White House? No, I mean, look, I think, Mark, I just want to say that was a great effort because what's happened in the polling <laughs> in the last couple of weeks is there's been a 20-point shift uh, in, uh, yeah. among women away from the Republicans towards the Democrats. It's, it's had a dramatic impact in the presidential race. The president is now up in some polls by as much as 10 points. And so this is a really serious issue for the election. And I think what's happened is that women are waking up to the fact that the current Republican Party is, stand let's just take three examples, right? If the Republicans have their way, tens of millions of women and their families will lose health insurance. If the Republicans have their way, there's going to be massive cuts in education and daycare, transportation services that help working families deal with their daily life and make sure they have the kind of life for their kids that they want to have. And third, uh, that you'll see us go <coughs> back to an economic strategy that got us uh, into this economic mess in the first place. So part of what's happening is, look, whenever a political party is complaining about the rules, or is making, you know, is uh, working the refs. It means that they're losing. And the thing <laughs> is, what the Republicans would be smart to do is to deal with why it is that there's been this dramatic yeah. shift in the last few weeks away from their party and towards the Democrats. That's mm -hmm. the real issue. Mark, that's and it's what, because that's what Charles ahead, seemed to be saying, is that yeah. Yeah. the reason there that there's, mm -hmm. you know, this perception is he, he talked about a compliant media that's perpetuating yeah. what he sure. thinks is a myth about a, a war on women. Whether it's a myth or it's real, does Simon have a point that it's resonating with women? Because according to the latest, uh, I think it's Gallup, USA Today Gallup poll, President Obama is now leading Mitt Romney by a 60 to 30 percent margin among younger women mm -hmm. in battleground states. This one, I think, is from yes. New York, but they're saying this is among in, in battleground states. Yeah. Uh, this isn't the right poll, but he's leading no, Romney uh, considerably with women. Yeah. yeah, this USA Today poll. Looks, I hope President Obama believes what Simon is saying because it's good for the Republican Party. If you look at that poll, I mean, it's not surprising that, that Romney against Obama after we've just had a six-month battle royale in the Republican Party that Romney's numbers are down. But if you look at that USA Today poll, they asked women, what are your top issues that you're concerned about? Number one issue, health care. The fact is, polls show that women oppose Obamacare more than men do. Second, uh, second most important issue is gas prices. Not a winning issue for President Obama. Third most important issue, unemployment. This is issues for women. Uh, the unemployment numbers, we just had a bad jobs report today. Fourth most important issue is, is the debt. This is the president who raised the debt more. You know where contraception comes in in the, in the priority list for women in that USA Today poll that Simon was citing? Sixth out of sixth. So the, is, the fact is, the women are not voting on contraception. Women are voting on the economy, on health care, on jobs, on gas prices. And if the Democrats want to have this war on women's strategy, by all means, if he wants to wage this fight over contraception, uh, I can't wait till Inauguration Day. Simon, <laughs> uh, does, you know, if, if the women care about all those issues and the president's been struggling on some of those issues in terms of yeah. disapproval, uh, disapproval on health care, gas prices, and so on, then why are the numbers so in his favor? Obama's favor, President Obama's favor, when it comes to a matchup against Romney? Well, first of all, contraception is health care. So on the number one issue, you know, what women understand now is the Republican Party, for example, wants to get rid of a health care provider that services one quarter of all the women in the United States. Planned today, Parenthood. Right? Yeah. And Planned Parenthood. And so I think that the Republicans have made They don't want to get rid mistakes. of it. They, want, they don't want a taxpayer want funding no, but, for it. Exactly. Yeah, no, but it will, have the, 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 it will have the net impact of substantially reducing the ability 
of Planned Parenthood to service women in the United States. And it's, a, and it's a provider that is very popular with women. And imagine taking on any institution that serves a quarter of all the women in the United States. The Republicans are paying a terrible price for the way they've handled this issue. On the economy, let's be clear. The talking points all day from the Republican Party is this was a bad jobs report. The unemployment rate went down. I mean, I, I don't really understand how the argument that we're hearing that somehow the economy is going in the wrong direction. We just had the best quarter of job creation in six years, and all the trend lines are heading in the right direction, which is one of the reasons why the Republicans are in trouble right now in the national polls. So, Megan, on the two issues cited here, the economy and health care, the Republicans are fighting against we're, history here. The Democrats are in know, the right place. And so I think that this is why the numbers are I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Simon get so fired. Yeah. That's very fiery for Simon. <laughs> the unemployment <laughs> rate went down. It's Mark, that, I, I think it must mean when? that's true because Simon doesn't usually yeah. get that upset. <laughs> Look, women oppose Obamacare. 52% of American women oppose Obamacare compared to 48% of, of, of men. Obamacare is intensely unpopular in this country, and it's unpopular uh, with women, in, in fact. The unemployment rate is, is better, yeah, absolutely, but you know what? Unemployment went up for women more uh, dramatically under President Obama from the time he took office until today. It was 7% when he took office. It's 8.1% for women today. So women's unemployment isn't great. And guess what? I don't know last time Simon went to go to, the, to fill up his tank in the gas station, but that's the number three issue for women, and it's not working for Obama. It's a, de it's so. a depressing experience. I can speak to that personally. Yeah. All right, guys, Megan, I got to go. Last, Good debate. Megan, Thanks. one last thing. Can Thanks. I just say is that the unemployment rate has come down two entire percentage points okay. in the last See? two years, a Did bigger drop than any time in modern history. So thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, thank Mark. Thank you. Thank you for being okay. here. See you guys. Thanks, Megan. Okay.